welcome back to my channel fit a little bit this video is gonna be a little different from any video I've ever done this is about something funny that happened in my life that I thought I would you guys would enjoy so you know I'm no longer with my husband we've been divorced separated for years you know no big deal so I decided I would try to get back out there into the scene and you know see what's going on maybe day a little bit I'm not sure if I'll get remarried or not I'm not sure but at least try to see what's going on in 2016. So, the new thing is, um, I guess, online dating or social media or whatever, finding people or whatever online. I'm not really into that, but I thought I would try it, you know, to see what was going on. So, I'm going through some of the sites, you know, matchup sites. I won't say any names, but if I can find the logo, I'll pop it on the screen. And maybe you'll recognize it. So I'm going through the sites. And I'm looking, looking. And I had, you know, some nice pictures of myself I was going to post. I was going to try to be, you know, um, transparent. You know, and not live up to the whole fake stuff that's online. So I'm cruising through. I'm looking through the sites. Seeing what the guys look like. Lo and behold, I see my ex on there. Which is fine. You know, he should be out there trying to do something. You don't want to die alone or whatever. I said, let me just look and see what he got. I'm so nosy. Number one, he wasn't under his name. He was under like, you know, the Mac is back, you know, 1913 or some crap like that. Whatever. You know, number seven, um, dog pound, something crazy. So I just laughed and continued to look and see. And I'm looking and I'm like, when was, what is this? business he's in front of he's got a picture in front of my business building he does not have a business building and never has okay so he got a picture he's took it in front of my business building he has a picture of himself with my truck my house in the background of his car so this is apparently an old picture he's this international mogul <laughs> in this profile looking at all these pictures so maybe this is old maybe that's all he had you know four or five years ago no those pictures have been up there he has been on he was online two days before I had even uh, got online so he this is something he's been doing for years he's taken plenty of pictures you know um, during that time period he's out here pretending as if he owns these nice houses and nice cars and he has a legitimate business are you kidding me? So he's catfishing the world. So I decided I would get just a little even. even. I'm sure he's fooled some women out there talking about his all his major travels and all these great things he's doing anyway. So I decided to create me a profile with a woman a little older than me thinking he probably wouldn't say a whole lot to a woman older than me. Of course she didn't look better than me because no one does. But anyway, she was decently attractive. She was like a, you know, out of a 10. I would say she's a 7. Of course, I'm a 9. So, I just asked to follow him or asked to be his in his group or something. And it was like 3 minutes. Not 3 minutes. I'll take it back. A couple hours. He responded. I had the alert set on my phone. He responded. Hey, lady. Nice to meet you. Tell me something about yourself. I said a few something crazy. You know, I'm a chef or something I'm really not. And I was just, you know, found your nice, uh, tall, handsome face. Um, what do you do? He started listing all these things that he do that he don't. Then I was like, oh, those are some nice, you have nice pictures. You know, what kind of business are you in? He's some international something. Say what? No. None of that. So we communicated a lot through the direct messaging or whatever that is, directly to each other. And I just started watching. And this went on for like a month. Now, the person I know is not going to spend a dime on nothing, okay? I thought maybe he changed, he grew, he developed, he evolved. You know, maybe he was spending a little money on women, which is fine. I thought maybe he just turned into this better person. So, he gave me his phone number, said I would probably never call him. And the last time I talked to him, he was in a serious, you know, relationship. Maybe not committed, but it was at least continuous or something. I would assume after all this time. Honey, he's still out there. <laughs> he is still out there on those set sites. Gucci, be quiet because I'm talking about your ex-father. Be quiet. Quiet. So anyway, he act just like him. I just keep him because he for protection. The other one wasn't this one. 
So um, I said, well, maybe we should meet for um, breakfast or lunch. He wants to talk on the phone first, you know, he's out of town, he's in Vegas, he's in Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, you know, all these places and stuff, right? So anyway, needless to say, of course I would never call because he would know my voice. I went so far as I got this little burnout phone or whatever, little cheap phone, and he would, I would text him from that phone so he wouldn't know my number. That went on for about a month, maybe a month. Then in between it, he would say, do you know me? I feel like I know you. Do you already know me? I was like, no. Are you famous or something? Are you somebody I should know? His response, maybe, maybe I am. I was like, oh, God, this man has not changed at all. Okay, so the bottom line is I catfished him. He would never meet me for lunch or anything like that. He would never do anything to spend any type of money. He wanted to chat on the phone at his age and get to know me over the phone? Oh, no, sir. No. I was like, okay. I'm glad I got rid of him, but I'm not going to be fooling on those sites. It's so many people pretending, and I know because that's the person that I know personally that is pretending not to be himself, let alone myself. I was on there pretending to not be who I was. To this day, I have not told him it was me. I'll never tell him. Maybe he'll ask me one day. I doubt it because he's probably shame and that I know. But this video is about how I catfished my ex-husband. I don't recommend anybody going on those sites because even though I'm an honest person, I pretended myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and comment you know, on the video, was it good, was it bad? Um, you feel like you've been catfished? I didn't go on no plan to catfish. That's what's cracking me up. My plan was not to go on there and catfish. I was trying to get out there and do some dating. But when I saw that fraud, I could not resist. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.